Welcome to another episode of Liberty Creek. On this episode, I am on vacation with Jennifer. Now, I started the camera a little too short. We have some plans this uh, vacation. The plans are to get a knee wall up for the loft. Okay, we're gonna extend one all the way across and the ladder will be the only way up, okay? Um, it's 11, 11, in, 11 inches is the knee wall. Uh, we were thinking of all different types of ways to uh, enclose in that area, to close in the area, like a uh, railings and those uh, wire cables and all types of stuff. And then we said, you know what, let's just do it this way. Um, we'll just extend the wall up. And it looks like it's the easiest way and the cheapest way as well, even though lumber is very expensive right now. So that would be check one on in the uh, check box it is saturday uh september 19th okay and we're going to try to make this happen we're going to try to do all the insulation in the roof as well okay so those are two projects but we have a third project as well yes we are going to try to put on siding we got the t111 smart siding we found enough of it to definitely do all the walls. The peaks, we are still kicking around the idea to actually make the um, the smart siding strips that walk up to the peak. Um, we like that look. It may not happen this year, but we'll see. See what we could get done during my vacation. So let's get going, get crack a lacking on this. Let's see what we get done today. Okay, so we completed this side of the wall. Looks pretty good. Got to run some. Uh, Got to bring up the sander. I'll run the sander over, sand it a little bit, clean it up. Yeah, eventually, I'll wrap this with molding, so I'll have look like a thick bean wrap. Same thing with this. Wrap it, wrap it, put a sealing in. I gotta finish the tops of the walls and the back of this one. Either we're gonna put tongue and groove or we're gonna go and uh, put the paneling type that we have in the bedroom, the beadboard. Um, yeah, but we're cleaning up now. It's getting dark out. I gotta go throw a tarp over my saws and stuff. And got more work tomorrow. I'm not gonna clean up everything just to take it out again. Well, just kicked off the fire for the morning. Hopefully I'll get it to burn all day. I'm uh, I want all this junk wood to be burnt up and get it out of here. Um, if you remember my last video, I believe I showed that I uh, cleaned up this whole area, and it looks a lot better now. It's a lot bigger. Um, this is junk wood, but. This stuff's good to burn outside when we have uh, campfires outside, okay? This stuff here is all junk. It's all 
I'm trying to dry it out. It's all wet. Um, a lot of it's from the pine that fell when we first bought the property. It was a large pine that fell. And I, I just had it all stacked here, planning on um, splitting it all and using it in the future. And, you know, two years rolled by, I didn't do that. And it just turned to crap. And a lot of other wood was mixed up and half buried and decomposing. And it was just, it took up this whole dirt spot. It was just an eyesore. So I spent half a day cleaning that all up. Over here, the same thing. It went all the way to the corner over here. It just had wood scattered everywhere. So stacked it all. And if you look down here, see along the trail now, there's little stumps you can sit on. Eventually those stumps should um, dry out and I should be able to split them or I just may leave them. But right now they're kind of like spongy, they won't split. Um, but I, they're big and they run quite a bit down the trail. So I'll leave those there and I'll start burning up the rest of this stuff today. And hopefully get rid of it all. And I got some more wood that I need to uh, chop down. I still haven't taken down the Widowmaker. I did buy some better toe straps to pull it down. If I get to it during my vacation week, I'll get on that. But this is starting up. Try to get the fire going, get it hot, so I can start burn, burning that crap wood. That's a whole bunch of birch that I took off a down tree. If you ever have trouble starting a fire, peel off some birch. The oils in the birch is um, like gas. I mean, let me throw a piece in, you'll see. Birch really gets a fire going hot. Wait till that catches. Hey, Jen. Hi, morning. My hair's probably enough. Breakfast. Breakfast. I eat well when Jennifer's up here. She cooks me good meals. Today was the coldest night we have spent up here. It was down in the 30s. Tonight supposed to be down in the 20s. Got a cold front roaring in from Canada, blowing down its cold air. Um, I had to get up twice to throw some logs in the fire. This place was warm. It was warm. It was in um, the, yeah, 60s. I, I say like 61, 62, 63, 64, right in that area all night. And that's what we usually run the air conditioner at in the summer in my uh, room. So it was comfortable. And I had my, sleep, my uh, Arctic Zero sleeping bag just thrown over me. And most of the night I had it off. So it was good. Um, today, my plans are to finish up the back deck just to put the uh, top decking on. I can't afford the stairs and stuff yet. Um, the the wood, wood is just way too expensive right now. Right now I have three different projects going. I had the, uh, the wall that got completed, the front of the wall that got completed last night. It will be capped. It'll have a piece of pine on top, I believe. Um, in the back also will get done but it, it's really nice now up there we spent the night up in the loft last night and that little knee wall makes like 
different look, different feel. It's very cozy up there. It's just, it's really nice. And um, I'm definitely gonna eventually still gonna wrap this with some molding and it'll probably match the same type of molding that I'm gonna go up the walls with uh, the veneer brick and around the fireplace hearth. Now, <clears throat> yeah, with no insulation, this place was good, but I did have to get up twice. We didn't pack the firebox. We packed it when we first went to bed a decent amount, and then I woke up at like uh, one, and I, I felt it was a little cold. I jumped down, threw a couple more logs in, and around 5.30, I jumped up, put a couple more logs in, and we woke up probably around 6.30. So, day two of vacation. It's gonna be our first full day up here. We're gonna tackle the insulation and the back porch today. And try to burn up some more of that wood that I've been working on, the junk wood. We now officially finished part of the back porch. Here, Jennifer. Do you ever want me to test it out? I had to get up here. Hey, good move. A little side by side action. Yeah. That's good. Not too much movement. <laughs> Sit and, oh, sit and just slide off. Old. Mm -hmm. These are my supervisors. Mm -hmm. They tell me I'll do everything. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. Excellent. Good job, Gordon. One, another check in the checkbox on this vacation. The back porch is now ready for railings and stairs. That's right, it's supper time. We're gonna have some sloppy joes. We got the fireplace roaring. It's nice and comfortable in here. It is a bit chilly outside right now. Um, yeah, let's eat. It's Sunday. Sunday is insulation day. I started the insulation. I already did two rolls. I finished the bathroom. The walls are completely insulated now. I have a couple little spots. I need like another 12 feet of insulation to finish a couple of the tops of the walls up in the loft. I'll have to pick something up. But it's that time. I'm gonna start insulating the ceiling. I'm gonna just do everything up to the end walls and then I'm gonna to have to frame out the end walls to uh, accept the ceiling and I'm gonna put a trap door in the back of the loft so just in case I need to get up there for whatever reason I'm able to have an access door um, so yeah I'm all geared up here if you don't have one of these and you do a lot of insulation work get one of these suits I wear my mask it it'll I hate doing insulation I always get itchies it's always gets some in my eyes but about to start ripping into these and uh, get the job done
Dinner time. All right, we're putting up the siding, folks. So we had to start off with putting on some flashing, okay? I forgot that we started actually the back and the front. I already put on pieces of uh, like a ledger board for the porch. And we were gonna have the plans required a wraparound porch. And then Jennifer and I decided during the build, no, just a back porch and a halfway wraparound porch. So this is gonna have flashing on it. It's gonna always have a lip on it. I don't know, I'll come up with something or fix it someday or maybe extend the back porch, but we're not gonna have an entire deck wrap around the, uh, the whole cabin. So with that being said, I have to put flashing. Actually, I forgot all about it till I got here and tried to put on the siding and I said, wait a minute, <laughs> I got flashing, I need flashing. So I ran to the Home Depot, um, grabbed this big roll of flashing and the front and the back needs flashing. The sides don't need it because it doesn't have the lip. And that's what you're gonna see us put on. And from there, we're gonna start putting on the siding. All right, let's get to work. Day two of siding, third day of vacation. Got half a house to go. There's the crew. <laughs> Get the work. All right, so we're getting done with the siding. Got one more side to go, but it came out pretty well. I like it, looks good. I'm gonna have to caulk some of the, <clears throat> the nail holes and the sides here are, I'm probably gonna, I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do. I might put a piece of cedar right there. Now the front, I believe I'm gonna get some of the smart siding, the, um, the boards going running this way all the way to the peak front and back and I'm gonna paint it brown the cabin's gonna be brown 
Now we want a uh, halfway wraparound porch. Start about here, come out six feet, come around and go around the other side. The other side will be a screening porch once it's done. This year I couldn't do that because of the um, shortage of pressure treater lumber. So I think I'll just put a little platform in the front and see if I could pick up some of that lumber. Now back to work. That's the end of the episode, folks. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and everyone, take care.